Hey, it has been a really long time. Um, life and work, oops, just took over and I, um, I'm always producing a lot of content on a weekly, weekly basis for my other channel. So, um, well, this is attractive. So it just makes it hard to stay consistent with this one because this one's purely for fun. Anywho, I hope you're doing well. Um, another reason why I haven't posted in a while is because I have been very busy. But um, I've told you guys before about how several months back I had tried this walk-in salon, like a Great Clips or a Super Cuts. I don't remember which one it is. And I had trimmed my hair to about shoulder length and I tried uh, layers, which I was always terrified to try because I had heard that if you have you know, low density hair, then the last thing you should do is cut more hair. And my hair is already kind of see-through, like there's not that much there. But I've also heard that layers can give you body and fullness. So I thought, what the hell, I'm not gonna like get it out of my mind until I try it. So I went to this walk-in place, got that haircut. She used textured shears on the end, about shoulder length with layers that started around here. I was so happy. I loved it. It was like the best decision I had ever made. And it really did make my hair look thicker, not thinner. Went back a couple months later, just to get a little trim, trim up the layers. Um, it was a different lady, but same thing. Amazing results, I was so happy. A few months ago, went back again. Told her, it was another woman, but I was like, oh, I've had nothing but great experiences here. So I told her to do the same exact thing. And I even gesture, like shoulder length and layers that start about here. I, I don't know what it is. And I know I'm not the only person who's had this experience. When you tell a stylist and you show them here and somehow they interpret that as here. And I walked out with chin length hair and the layers that were supposed to start here started here. I had hair on my head this short. And on top of that, she gave me what I can only guess was a face frame, which I did not ask for. And it wasn't even a face frame. The hair didn't go like this, like gradually. It went like this and then like this. So there was like a length here and a length here. No joke, it looked like a mullet. And I say that, I'm like, I walked out with a mullet and people were like, how funny. No, it legitimately looked like a mullet. And it's funny, you know, I've struggled with my hair a lot because it's very low density and very fine, but I've never struggled with it from an aspect of its length because I've never really cut my hair too short and it grows really fast. And this wasn't that shock that you get when you first cut your hair short and you're like, oh my God, what did I do? And then you love it a few days later. I hated it. I hated the way it looked and I felt so ugly and you know, my hair looked so thin, it looked ratty, and that length was just entirely too short for my face. Um, so thankfully, it's grown out quite a bit now, and I'm taking hair vitamins to help it grow faster. So it's just about back at where I had it before. Um, the chunks in the front, they're getting there. Um, this was kind of the length that I walked out with, this like chin, a little longer than chin length. And then the super short hairs, those are growing out too. So, you know, it's funny, someone had put in the comments when I mentioned this the first time that going to walk-in salons is like playing roulette. And, you know, as I said, I had those first few visits and they were really good. And I was like, yeah, $12 haircuts, cool. And, um, well, that came back to bite me. So I'm back now, my hair is a little bit longer and we are back in business. So I just came on here to kind of say hello and check in with everyone. Um, you know, I love when you drop me a comment and say hello. Uh, today, I'm just getting ready for bed. So I thought that we could get ready together. Um, I'm going to do my leave-in conditioner, my true define and set, and then I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit. That was another thing that when my hair was super, super short, when that lady messed it up, it was so short that I couldn't even diffuse it. A, there wasn't enough hair, and B, when I did, the hair was so short that it literally stuck out like this. 
bad news. All right, so I had my hair up in one of these like little quick dry towels, so that's why I'm just wetting it down again. And yeah, nothing super special today. So I've been using this. Um, we are in the summer months here in Vegas, so it's still dry as hell. I'm in the desert, but my scalp hasn't been as itchy as it was over the winter, which I, oops, I know we talked about, but I just kept up using this because I have a dry scalp in general. So I use that, not too much. Um, my hair can't handle too much product. Um, and I actually put a generous amount on the scalp because it needs it. And as long as I don't go too crazy, um, it doesn't make it oily. Like, I, you can't even tell that I use conditioner, but my scalp can feel it. And at this point, I already start lifting the hair off the scalp, which helps make it look a little fuller when I go to dry it. Let me just do this, and I already start scrunching, but I just make sure to get in there real good, or else it will already be flaking by tomorrow morning. It's crazy, I've tried so many products, and uh, that lady who cut my hair, that crazy lady, I shouldn't say crazy, that lady who didn't listen, um, I warned her when I went in, you know, at the time in Vegas, they weren't washing hair, the, the washing station was closed because of COVID, so every time I went in to get my hair cut, I would wash it ahead of time, which I did with this woman, and I warned her, I was like, just a heads up, my hair is clean, but if it's flaking, if my scalp is flaking really bad, I can't help it. I don't know what to do, I've tried everything. And while she was combing my hair, she was like, you're right, this is flaky. I wanted to be like, you ain't gotta point it out. I know, I look at myself every day, lady. She wasn't very friendly. Anyhow, so um, oh, I forgot to show you. I'll show you the bottle in a second, but I do this and I just start scrunching it like that. These days, I mean, I'm low maintenance in general. These days, I'm really low maintenance. Um, I mentioned my other channel. I have to, I don't have to, I record so much content for that that I'm doing my hair and makeup a lot just because I'm on camera. Um, and it can take up a lot of your day, like when you're doing the whole thing. So I keep it as quick as possible. I have my makeup routine down to about 12 minutes, which I can do 12 minutes, that's fine. And then my hair, um, when it's shorter like this, the curls, the waves are much nicer. So I don't have to mess with my hair quite as much as I used to. So that's been really nice. I'm gonna flip upside down real quick. Okay, that was it. And uh, this was the product I used, by the way. I mentioned this a long time ago on my channel when I still had really long hair. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I said at the time, I was like, I don't think it's the products. I think they're just not good for me. And I think they just weren't good on my particular long hair. I think my hair was too long, too thin, flat and stringy. These aren't gonna make a dent. But I've noticed with shorter hair and with layers, um, when I put a little bit of product in and scrunch it, the results are much, much nicer. So that's been kind of interesting to see. I wish my hair did that long, but uh, couldn't make that happen. All right, I am just plugging in my diffuser, still using Old Reliable King Can. It's a little silicone one that you can just, it's universal, so you can put it on any hair dryer. And these days I do a combination of hovering and cupping the hair. Um, I just like, the hovering seems to help kind of like set the curls more, but then when you combine it with cupping, it gives it a little more volume. Um, and the hovering I've noticed is better for my roots. It helps my roots stay fuller, um, whereas cupping is better for the ends. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, and that's it. It's, um, it's still a little damp, but that's okay. Uh, once it's fully dry, I'll probably scrunch it a little bit just to kind of make it a little more fluffy, but I don't have to mess with it uh, too much these days with how short it is. Uh, usually it's just ready to go. And the last thing I'm going to do, because I've gotten into the habit of doing this almost every day, um, I have been really good about wearing sunblock every day. Um, although I was just reading that 
there are a few specific ingredients in sunblock that are like really bad for you and the environment. So I need to be more aware of that and check the labels next time. Um, Cause I don't know if this is a good one now. Fragrance free, breakout free, which is true. This is not, this did not make, ugh, make me break out. Uh, gluten free, don't know why that matters and vegan. Um, I like this just because I didn't get acne from it, which I always get acne from sunblock, like face, arms, everywhere. Um, so this was SPF 50. Uh, I've made that a habit, which is really good because I'm trying not to age too much, you know, slow down father time. And then at night I use this and I actually bought a derma roller, the thing with the needles. Um, I don't do it too often, maybe once or twice a month because it is rather uncomfortable. And then I also, um, once in a while, will dermaplane this thing. I have so much peach fuzz on my face. I never knew how much hair we have on our face. So I dermaplane my whole face. Um, no, God, I can see stuff. I need to clean this. Um, no, it does not make your hair grow back thicker. Would you guys like to see a video with this? I'll make a video for this. I'll let everything grow out, my mustache, my beard, everything, and we can dermaplane together. It's very satisfying. Uh, so anyhow, I use this most nights, and then um, I'll use it on my face and neck, and then I also use it before I derma roll. The dermatologists recommend that because then you roll over it and it seeps into your skin. Um, I've had really good luck with this. I haven't broken out. I haven't had any irritation. Um, I'll get a little irritation from the needles, but... Like I said, I'm using this every night and it's been really good. Um, a little bit goes a long way. So what I do is I just put a little drop on my forehead, just like all around my face. And then I do this. It's so funny. I've been contemplating getting a little bit of Botox and you know, filling my lips up a little bit. And honestly, I don't think I would ever do it. Um, it's not so much the pain. I'm okay with pain, I'm okay with needles, although needles coming at my face, I don't know. But um, I've talked about this before, like with the products that I buy, I have the money, but I am so frugal that I have a really hard time justifying spending five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a vial of Botox um, or whatever they call it. And I just don't know if I care enough and if I want it enough. And um, so that's why I haven't done it. And it's the same with my lips. And also like I'm scared of looking weird. <laughs> like, you know, some women get it done and they look beautiful and they just look refreshed and healthy. Um, I've also thought of getting the filler under my eyes because I have really bad bags under my eyes. And again, I just, I can't justify the cost, which I think means I don't want it bad enough. So for now, it's this stuff and it's derma rolling. And that's going to be it because that's not expensive. All right, that's it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Drop me a comment and say hello. And, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope... Things are getting better where you live with COVID. And uh, yeah, talk to you next time.